Okay, how's everybody doing? Uh, I decided I'm going to start taking one of these engines down here. And uh, as you can see, I've already taken the pony and trailing trucks off. And one of the things I do in something like this is I have a few little bowls like this laying around to put parts in so they're not scattered everywhere. Okay, so now the first thing to do with a locomotive like this, especially if it's something you're not familiar with, <clears throat> is to look it over. Uh, look at how it's put together, okay? It's pretty easy if the wheels turn. You can see there's a screw here. There's another one here. Uh, there's a couple down in here. There's two here. There's a couple here. And you have to figure out, okay, what, and also, I don't know if you can see this really easily here. There's a lot of grease in here. Grease is a fine lubricant, unless it's been sitting for quite a few years. And in which case, it, it becomes more of a hindrance than a help. So we're going to get all this old grease out of here once I take this apart. But anyway, you have to decide how much of this you need to take down to get it, the motor out and from looking at this it's got to come down quite a ways okay this here has to come out because it's holding what appears to be the front of the motor in um, and then if you look back here there's some things here there's a screw here that has to come out this holds the back side of the motor so basically quite a bit of this has to come apart okay it's not that big a deal. And again, everybody has a camera on their phone these days. So if you're worried about where things go back together or how they go back together, snap a quick picture. Okay. It's very easy to do. So we're going to start right here and we're going to take this screw out and we're going to set this. And there's a variety. This is a Phillips screw in this wheel here. So it will be relatively easy to know what goes back together where. This is a spacer that goes between here and here and there. You can see it on the other side right here. There's a spacer there. So you remember where it goes. Work one side at a time putting your parts away, uh, pliers. And again, what I, you could have a little wrench set that would do the same thing. Um, you know, it, it, it would, wow, that actually popped right out of there pretty fast. I'm actually surprised. Uh, make sure that, okay, I see how that is. It should go right back in there again. Um, I want to make sure. And again, some of these you can, we're going to leave that out. We're not going to put that back in. And judging from this, I need to take uh, this off and this out. Whoops, help if I use the right screwdriver. Okay, we're taking this off. And don't get in a big, big rush. Okay, because you're liable to bend something or break something, and that would be a bigger tragedy. You want to make take your time, spin it around so you can see actually what the heck you're doing would help also. Sliding this out and that out, and couple of parts here, you know, remember kind of where they go. Um, you can tell and where they hook into, where it goes, how it goes. Technically, you don't need to really take some of that apart. Um, but it's out. You can leave this on unless you're going to be doing taking the wheels off. This cross draw bar here can stay put. It really isn't uh, uh, critical to take that off again unless you intend to 
take wheels off or something. And I really not intending to take any wheels off right now. Uh, take this one out. And take that. And we're going to put that in there. And then I think on this side, I'm going to leave this one alone. I think I can. Um, just kind of move that out of my way. I didn't think I needed to take it apart on the other side. I did. Again, not a big deal with a camera or if you don't take the other one apart. Remove that. And then we'll remove this. Okay. Now you can see pretty much I need to take these out and I need to take the screw, the Phillips screw on the top out. And again, it just, look it over. Um, they are fairly simple machines. No, nothing here that really, you know, is going to throw you. And again, if you, you uh, really are concerned, uh, take pictures. Cell phone cameras are fantastic things. Okay, we can lift this completely out of the way. Oh, look, a smoke chamber. Um, judging from the looks of that, it's going to need a cleaning. So, we will, of course, endeavor to clean that. Um, want to make sure the wiring's good. It does look good. We want to see if there is a way to get this and this sets in here. Okay, we kind of get an idea of what it looks like, how it goes together. Um, hmm, very interesting. And so we'll set that aside. That's gonna, the wiring is gonna hook into here. So we want this out anyway. We wanna be very careful of the wires. Again, this is some pretty old stuff. Um, there's some buildup in the, uh, in the uh, stack here as well. So we want to make sure when I clean, I get all of that excess out of there. Okay, now we've taken this screw off here and we want to just gently, oh, what a surprise. This one has a couple extra screws that has a bar going straight through the other side, a long screw here. Uh, again, uh, don't be surprised. This is going to take a different kind of a screwdriver, a little bit smaller screwdriver here. And, aha! This is where a Gerber tool, a Leatherman, or a halfway decent pair of pliers can come in handy. This is in there pretty tight. We want to be able to, there we go, it is tight, okay, this is going to be, there's a big difference, well not, there was a difference between 1940s, which is the other engine over there, the my wife's dad's, and not quite 10 years later, um, from the looks of it. Uh, the 1946 uh, locomotive I had wasn't even quite this complicated. Now we want to make sure, okay, that is... I believe fully unscrewed. There we are. Yep. Nice little bar there. Holds the front of the locomotive. Makes perfect sense. And there we have it. Now there's also a bulb here. The front end of this pops off. Okay. And there you have it. <clears throat> 
basically identical technology. This motor looks identical to the one that came out of the 1946 locomotive and the 1947 locomotive. This is all identical. Everything, every bit of this, with the exception, of course, of the smoke chamber. Okay, so now we'll set this aside. Uh, it's going to get a cleaning. Uh, you can see there's some buildup in here, and I want to make sure that's cleaned out. So we'll set this aside for now, and we'll look this over. And again, you just want to make sure the wires are in good shape. Uh, there's some excess wires there. The brushes on this, the brush setup is a little different. The brushes are here, slightly different than the older ones, but still pretty easy to get to and easy enough to clean. Uh, I don't see any difficulty there. I see a little rust here and there, so that would hinder the, the uh, you know, function of work, workability. I see a wire here that looks like it's trying to short. We may have to put a piece of uh, electrical tape on that. Yeah, you, you can see this here. It's uh, eating through slowly, eating through the, uh, this was tucked in behind this piece here and probably not a good place for it. That would eventually short things out and cause problems. So those are the kind of things we want to look for when we take one of these apart. I do see a lot of uh, hair, fuzz, uh, dust bunnies, uh, grease, excess grease and dirt. We want to make sure. And again, a lot of these wires, they're solid core wires. So you want to make sure if you're going to move things around, you move them as kind of a unit because... Solid core wires, a lot of times, ooh, that isn't a solid core. How interesting. Um, I know on the older ones, they are solid wire and not a, a braided. So you want to make sure you move it as one unit so you're not putting strain on a wire that's, you know, as old as these are. Okay, that is basically how to take one of these apart. This is very simple, very easy. Um, and it, you saw how long it took me. Not that long at all. Now, I will clean it. I will clean it probably off camera. Uh, but again, it's fairly simple. There's two screws here for the back side of the armature. And there's actually, I can do this right here. There's two screws here for this side of the armature and the brushes. Okay, and put that there and... Um, since I intend to clean this right away, I'm going to put the screws here rather than set them aside. And there we have it. You can see a lot of dirt here, a lot of dust build up on these. Uh, you can see the armature isn't bad, really. It's not in that bad a shape, but there are some dust bunnies in there. We want to make sure we get rid of those. We want to clean this thoroughly. And... We want to, this one's nice because I don't have to worry about the uh, brushes falling out and get springs getting lost. That's actually quite nice. Uh, it's amazing how far it came in less than 10 years for brushes wise. And this one is going to be, there's one. And... You notice, too, some of these, these are small, these are shorter, okay? So try to keep them separated so you don't get them confused. There we are. You know which ones kind of go where. And again, if you're worried, a picture, as they say, is worth a thousand words. You can see some excess grease build up here in this area and, of course, there's some dog hair or fur or hair or dust bunnies. There's a lot of it in here. It's going to take me, oh, probably a half an hour or so to clean this, maybe a little longer. So I won't do that on camera. I'll do that off camera. Um, but that's, there you have it. It's pretty simple. The other thing I do is because these screws are different sizes, 
I put this piece with it over here so I know which one goes where. It's a good helpful hint, helpful tip to keep you from, uh, you know, making mistakes. And mistakes do happen, but let's try to avoid them if, if at all possible. Anyway, there you have it. Again, pretty simple. Didn't take that long. Um, and it's torn down. As about as far as I want to take it. You can take the wheels off, but then there's lining them back up just right and this and it's unless there's something broken, you don't really want to be pulling these off right away. Um, it's really kind of a, a, a exercise in futility because getting them back on the way they need to go. Uh, I had to replace a wheel on the uh, 1946 locomotive. And let me tell you, it took me a while to get it right. Um, they have to be pretty much dead on or there or things are not going to line up and you're not going to have uh you're going to have problems with binding when it tries to run anyway there you have it um all taken down i will clean this and when i get ready to put it back together i will uh shoot another video anyway i hope you enjoyed uh oh the other thing you can do which i will probably do is put these screws back here where they came out of and again, this prevents, I have a cat here that likes to wander off with things. This kind of prevents tiny pieces from disappearing. Uh, the cat is sitting here on a, a near me watching every move I make. And she is looking for something to abscound with. So we will... Uh, not give her anything anyway there you have it thanks for watching and i'll see you when this is all cleaned up and ready to go back together okay have a great day bye